Hello, my friend. I'm so happy to be with you again this week. Have you ever felt jealous? Maybe someone had a toy that you really wanted? Or maybe your friend was playing with someone else and you wanted that friend to play with you. Being jealous is not a very nice feeling. It doesn't really feel good at all. But it does tell us what's important to us. If we're jealous about something, it means we really care about it. This week, a special friend of ours is going to tell us a story about a man named Saul. Saul felt very jealous because of all the people who were following Jesus. But then something happens and Saul has a change of heart. Let's hear how the story goes. The temple leaders were jealous of all the people following Jesus. They had many put in jail. Some were even killed. The believers were especially afraid of one man. His name was Saul. One day, Saul was on his way to arrest Jesus' followers in Damascus. Suddenly, he fell to the ground blinded by a brilliant light. He heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you attacking me? It was Jesus speaking to him. For three days, Saul was blind and did not eat or drink. On the fourth day, he had a change of heart. Now he believed that Jesus was the Son of God. Saul was baptized. He changed his name to Paul. He wrote many letters to encourage the new churches in distant land. Many people asked Paul questions, including what was most important to God. Paul answered faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. But what is love, they asked. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy or boost. It is not arrogant or rude. It is not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or reasonful. It rejoices not in wrongdoing, but is true and justice and forgiveness. So Saul learned that for Jesus, what was important wasn't having lots of followers. It was having lots of love. And the good news is we can always have lots of love because we're surrounded by love. Because God is love and God is all around us. Saul was so changed when he realized this that he even changed his name. He changed his name to Paul. There's a song that I learned when I was about your age. That's a song about love. It goes like this. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. God loves you very much. And so do I. Can we close with a prayer? Please read along or have a grown up read along. 
Dear God, please give me faith, hope, and love. Amen. This story comes from the Children of God Storybook Bible by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Illustrations for this story are by Shane Evans from the United States.